walls without having a breach in the supernatural barrier. Interior walls of buildings don't inhibit me the same way. In fact, almost every interior wall in the entire game, Ronin can pass through freely. This opens up entirely new ways to explore the environment. So let's go ahead and move up to the second floor and continue the investigation. the hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey, come back! Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. As you can see, Ronan has more power than even he is aware of. The other thing that that cinematic showed you is it hints at a side quest that'll play a crucial role in the, over the course of the game. Side quests are important in Murdered because it gives the player a chance to learn not only about the characters who inhabit this space and Ronin, but also about the sound of Salem. This graffiti here, if I reveal it, it'll tell me more information about who that young girl was. Okay, so now I wanna go over here and I'm gonna malfunction this particular stone. Now, if it gets the attention of this young lady, which I believe it has, she's going to wander over and examine it and see what has happened. Now, in this particular case, it's a fun little bit of poltergeist. But later on in the game, that ability to, limit, in a limited capacity, interact with the living world will play a crucial role in the puzzle solving of the game. The dusk is not a safe place. What you see here is the first of several demon types that the player will encounter over the course of the game. Now something I want to draw your attention to here is the fact that we want the combat in Murdered to be very intentional. We want the player to understand the combat space, build a strategy, and execute on it. The demons are incredibly strong, and if you attack them head on, you will be defeated. So it's important to get behind them when they're unaware and rip them apart from the inside. This represents sort of the holistic design that we're taking with Murdered both in the case of investigation and exploration and combat. We want it to be very intentional, very thoughtful. We want the player to constantly be engaged in the game and always be thinking about their next decisions. It's that sort of consistency of design that we're going for. Now here, you see that on the street, we use possession to solve crimes. But now, we use it in combat. We can defeat demons by hiding within living targets. In addition to possession, the player can also use pass-through to get behind the enemies and hopefully get advantage of them when they're not expecting it. One more ability I want to show here is something that we're calling teleport right now. It allows a player to silently sneak up behind enemies and then attack them when they least expect it.
These three abilities are just the tip of the iceberg. When the product ships, there's going to be plenty of strategies for the player to use to build their own path through the combat spaces. A quick note about enemies, they used to be human ghosts who have been slowly okay, corrupted by their I dusk over the many, many years. Scene. Their last instinct is the belief that devouring other human souls, they can regain their own humanity. Now on the street, I showed you how possession can be used in a special way to gain advantage where a regular detective wouldn't be able to gain headway into a case. The player can do more than that though. Here we have things called memory residues, and by revealing them, I actually bring a memory back into the investigation space. Now that it's here, I can investigate it and draw information from it. In this case, it's obviously the killer here and he's looking for someone or something. What is he looking for? Okay, so let's continue on with the investigation. Over here to your left, what you're gonna see is a baseball bat. If I investigate this... I knew it. It's interesting because this is clearly yeah. a metal bat, but it was bent, and yeah. it was done recently because it's part of the crime scene. Damn, this guy's strong. All right. So now I'm going to make my way over and continue investigating the apartment. On the other side of this living room, I'll see a broken window. If I interact with this, it's clear that this is the window I was killed from. Nice. All right. There we go. I didn't stand a freaking chance. We'll move into the bedroom now and continue the investigation. You'll see that there's another memory residue here. And if I reveal this one, I can see that there's a witness. Now, this witness is obviously watching the killer as he moves through the space. She's frightened, and so oh, she's hiding right. from him, hoping he doesn't see her. Bingo. Nice. I can't believe there was a witness. The case has just taken a turn, but I don't know where the witness went, so I need to keep investigating. If I move over here, I'll see a bulletin board. And if I interact with a photo on it, I'll get a psychic imprint from it. And this will give me new insight. How Father, are you? Uh, do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always your deal. I think we have an old adage you can stay in for as long as you like. The church isn't too far away. Should be enough evidence to put this together now. So now I have all the critical pieces of information. So let's complete this deduction. Now, on the street, I was asked to put the pieces together. But in this version of the deduction, I actually have to put the pieces of information in chronological order. In this instance, the eyewitness was here first, at which point the killer showed up. Ronan arrived, confronted him, but was overpowered and thrown out of the window. I knew it.
Turn around. You're under arrest. Street and you didn't even check for witnesses. Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. By piecing this all together, I now know where the witness fled. I need to chase her through this window. Hopefully I can still catch up with her, find her at the church, and maybe she'll lead me to my killer so I can bring him to justice. What you just saw was the beginning of a very robust and very interesting supernatural detective thriller that we think is both incredibly original and incredibly compelling. Thank you so much for watching the demo, and I believe that we're going to have some really interesting stuff for you in the very near future.